Hello guys, uh, back again with a quick video about being a over the road driver. And uh, I'm here at the terminal in Dallas right now with my co-driver. I uh, did some miles today, uh, making sure that I'm uh, doing everything properly, um, using the Smith system, safety first guys. Um, most importantly, you want to be able to uh, do the best you can on the road. Uh, in addition to that, there are plenty of ways of uh, starting off your career successfully over the road. With any company, you will have to first go through the initial um, pre-screening process, getting your CDL license. And uh, that may take some time, usually about a month or two. And then you will go through a training process with a mentor or someone that is more experienced than you. So once you complete all of that, it's usually best to start doing solo or team driving for a minimum of six months. And during this time, if you're fortunate enough to find a company, uh, I currently work for CRST, they have at least a uh, own type of programs and things like that that allow you to um, be able to finance a vehicle, but also kind of um, allow you to earn more as a independent contractor. So, that's kind of the fast track way of becoming successful in the industry in truck driving. The My best advice is finding a good mentor and getting those miles in and doing all the requirements. And after you're able to do that, get as many miles as you can within those six months, get, ex get some experience, and then try to do owner operator. Um, that's kind of what I would suggest doing, but you can also just be a company driver. There's nothing wrong with that. There's less, um, you know, hassle on your end and there's less, um, you know, things you have to be more concerned about with company driving positions. They take everything, take care of everything for you or really only have the thing you have to do is drive. Uh, and, uh, I mean, a little paperwork here and there, but they want you to get those miles. So 